Hi there! Welcome to Yes Lingo's special program, Top 10 Weirdest Chinese Dishes. I'm your host, Betty. Well, before we get into the weird food of the day, let's take a moment to see if you've learned some stuff from our program so far. Do you remember what the Chinese word for duck is? Is it A, G, B, Go, or C, Ya? Did you say Ya? Well, you're right. We'll be talking about yazi or ducks today. Remember, in a previous episode, we talked about ya xue fen si tang, duck blood and vermicelli soup. Well, today we're going to talk about yet another part of the duck that Chinese people love to snack on, and that is ya bozi, duck neck. Yes. Duck necks, in all their bony glory, make really tasty snacks to curb hunger and to kill time.、Mm. Think about spending an afternoon going through a pile of sunflower seeds. Duck necks have the same effect of satisfying your taste buds without the feeling of fullness. And gnawing through a plate full of duck necks while watching TV is actually a common scene you'll see in Chinese families. But you might ask, isn't gnawing away at bones reserved for the likes of dogs and savages? Why, of course not. Have you ever seen Chinese people eat crab? Chinese folks relish in getting to the hard-to-reach meat of crabs and duck necks and any animal for that matter. There's a certain sense of accomplishment when one's plate is filled with empty crustacean cells and clean bones. Not to mention, this is not wasteful either. Ya bo or duck necks are considered to be jiang zhi lei shi ping, literally sauced food. This is because the necks are marinated in a flavorful sauce for long periods of time, and then they're dried. The final product is slightly reminiscent of jerky, with a dark color and salty flavor typically associated with soy sauce. But it doesn't stop there. Other parts that can be prepared in this way include the head of the duck, the wings, which we already saw, and also the feet. Salty soy sauce flavored webbed duck feet. Mmm, sure sounds tasty. These foods are typically saved for snack time, while the main body of the duck would be served during meals. For example, everyone's familiar with Beijing Kao Ya or Peking Roast Duck, and also Lao Ya Tang Duck Stew. These two dishes use the body of the duck, and they're usually served during meals instead of for snacking in between. Now, speaking of snacks, where can you buy something as tasty as ya bo? Well, if you come to China, you'll notice that duck neck specialty stores line the streets. Many times, they're as simple as a tiny little storefront with a display window. You can see the different flavors of ya bo, ranging from slightly sweet to extra spicy, and you can tell the server how much you want, and he or she will weigh it out for you. At these stores, you'll also find stuff that we mentioned, like wings, heads, tongues, feet, and the like. And if you don't want to go to a store, you can even just go to your average grocery store supermarket, and you can find a lot of these things pre-packaged so that they can last a long time. So next time, instead of settling in for a night of TV with popcorn or chips, try the go-to snack of the Orient: ya bo. Hmm. Speaking of, I've got to go catch my favorite TV show while I gnaw on some poultry neck. So I'll see you next time as we explore more of China's top ten weirdest foods. I'm Betty, and have a great one.